The Artemis I mission will have no human on board, but it will be filled with curious passengers. If time allows this month, the Artemisa mission will be launched, which aims to put humanity back on the moon in 2024 or 2025. This first mission aims to measure the influence and the aerodynamic forces that astronauts will endure. This is why the Orion rocket, although it will reach the moon and return, will not wear astronauts, but it will be at least for passengers. This week, the last one was confirmed. The European Space Agency has announced that Sean the Sheep will go aboard the European service module created by ESA. An important step for its species, because it will be the first sheep to go to the moon. Here we can see his training under the conditions of microgravity. It is an exciting period for Sean and for us in ESA. We are very happy that he was selected for the mission, and we understand that even if it can be a small step for a human, it is a giant jump for sheep. David Parker, Director of Human and Robotic Exploration at ESA. The Orion spacecraft will overflight the moon, using lunar gravity to gain speed and propelling itself at 70,000 kilometers beyond the moon, almost half a million kilometers from the Earth, further than any human being or sheep has never traveled. Lucy Wendover, Director of Marketing for Ardman, explains that, Ardman is delighted to join ESA to make history by launching the first sheep in space. As one of the first astronauts to fly in an Artemis mission, Sean directs the lunar exploration, a great honor for our woolly adventurer, 2022 marks the 15th anniversary of Sean's first television series, so what better way to celebrate than by traveling further than any sheep before. He concludes. The Sean the Sheep was born with a TV series for hitchhiking children, great success worldwide. She made the cinema jump in several films, like Sean the Sheep the movie Farmageddon. During this first mission on the moon, the sympathetic sheep will accompany the Munikin, Zohar and Helga Manikin's Campos, which transport all kinds of sensors to capture what will feel the astronauts of flesh and blood during the missions to come.